We are here at Hostel Rimala. It's actually why I stay for three nights, and I found it extreme, extremely, extremely comfortable. And thanks to Boo Boo, the owner of the hostel, and Chris, he's not here with us. Today. <laughs> You're more than welcome anytime. And one of my favorite places up here, actually, in the rooftop, and you can just hear the sound of the city and a beautiful view. Can you describe Boo Boo like what? In the background? Like, yes, sure. Actually, if you just take a look at the horizon, you can see all the cities on the coast, like Tel Aviv or Ashdod or even Gaza from wow. here. And as well, just over there, you are in the middle of the city center. Wow. <laughs> and I love the location because it's so close to the city center. Yeah, all, all actually, all the busy markets are over there, but you're still living in, uh, let's say, quiet streets, the night life is in other parts, so the location is very close to all the uh, interesting points. So let me ask you this, what got you and Chris started on this hostel? Well, we wanted to bring people here, we wanted to show that Ramallah is safe, there's a lot of things to see that you can't imagine that is existing in Ramallah, nightlife, uh, sightseeing, uh, busy life, and uh, good food for cheap prices. <laughs> And this is the first hostel okay. in Ramallah. That's the first hostel in Ramallah. We opened the, this, uh, sorry, two years ago. I heard you guys make really good breakfast. Is that true? That's true. Let's try it. All right. And let's go and take a look. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're offering basic breakfast for free. If you want to promote, it's just five shakers extra. Uh, you have tea and coffee for free, but for sure, if you're in Palestine, the best thing that you have to start with is za'atar, which is thyme, and olive oil, and really good kind of uh, veg and olive oil and for sure hummus, uh, argula and some vegetables from the season that we are in and some jam. Awesome, wow. And if that's not enough and you want to cook your own, we also have a nice kitchen here. Yeah, and more than one. Exactly, and we have our cooking nights that everybody can join and help us cooking and we eat together at lunch. Can we take a look at the uh, kitchen downstairs? Yeah, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> The, this is fully stocked and I think it's a really awesome like here's the sugars and a lot of the spices so and the kitchen is super clean and I love that super clean kitchen and I think whoever is doing this kitchen did a good job can you tell us who perhaps did it well our amazing stuff Maya <laughs> yeah awesome so Maya good job and she's not only telling cleaning kitchens but also operating cameras <laughs> we also have some entertainment here, Boo Boo. So tell me about it. Okay, we, we've got some few gadgets, like we, we're making some entertainment nights that we play music or drinking games or movies or even PlayStation. Well, we have three dorms, eight beds and ten beds. Mm -hmm. We have as well single rooms and private rooms, twin and triple. And we're having good prices for our dorms. And no matter what rooms you get, it's always going to be as clean as my room which is a private room it is. and let's go and check out that particular room and hopefully you guys won't be jealous all right so here you go this is my lovely lovely private room it's really nice like i said i love the lighting i mean it's really in the morning so it's but still the lighting is great and it's also very clean the linens are incredibly clean and at the same time the beds are um, like really comfortable so i think whoever came out with the design, did a really good job. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, overall, I would like to thank uh, Hostel in Ramallah for hosting me and this show. And uh, Boo Boo, thank you so much. And please thank Chris as well. I mean, it's not possible without you. You're welcome and I hope to see you again. Alright, thank you so much.